time to make a YouTube video and with no editing software, so this is gonna be weird. I can't cut. Something's missing, something's missing, something's missing. This, okay. Now I'm ready for a YouTube video. How are you doing, YouTube? Um, so I'm not really sure what I want to talk about. I was thinking about talking about how we're a bunch of sheeple in a consumer competitive society, and it's really pathetic when, you know, there's a whole crowd of people on a talk show, and Oprah gives them sneakers, or Ellen gives them a bunch of money. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure all of us would love to go to a show, get free money, free shit. We're consumers. We love to consume. But, does anyone realize how kind of pathetic it is? Like... We're all in a competitive consumer society of sheeple, and we're all kind of living under the rich here, and we're all kind of trying to, you know, always make money and buy things. That's why we work. We want to buy things. We want to consume. We want to, you know, we, we like being sheeple. As, as much as we know we're sheeple, don't get me wrong, I hate being sheeple, but a lot of us, you know, you gotta admit, you're comfortable being a sheeple. You love how you're a pet of the rich, living in your little square box home, on your little box computer watching your TV and watching your computer shit, watching this maybe on YouTube. Like, you're doing exactly what they want. You're sitting on your butt, playing your video games, watching TV, watching this, playing games with friends, getting drunk at a bar, consuming, being, being, um, ah, this is why I like to cut, being, 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 being captured, being grasped by the ad, something like that. You know, you're watching the ad and it's just like, buy this, you need sneakers or whatever. And it's weird how the ads fucking sell your IP. Ooh, I swear. Oh, well, fuck it. Ah, oh, well, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like, think about this. You go on Google, you search fucking pantyhoses and... Next thing you know, you're on YouTube and there's an ad for pantyhoses because, you know, Google sells your IP address to people that have ads and then they get those ads on your computer. So it's kind of weird how your identity is kind of for sale online while you're online. But anyway, back to the consumer society. We're always trying to get, you know, stuff. And then you go on a show like Oprah or Ellen and they give you free stuff. And you get the hysterical over it. Like, people are crying. They're all like, oh my god, I'm getting free sneakers or crap. I don't know why I keep saying sneakers. I don't even like sneakers. I got, like, a pair of sandals on right now. Um, one of them actually is pretty taped up because I broke it. But anyway, when I see someone getting hysterical on a talk show get, and getting all that crap... Don't get me wrong, I'm jealous of them, but at the same time, it's rather pathetic, and it also shows how pathetic we are as a people. Because when someone's on that talk show getting that free stuff, it's I kind of see it similar to, like, you know, an, a pet owner giving a dog a treat. Like, the dog's always going to want the treat. The dog likes to eat. It's a good dog. Have a treat. It's like, you're a good consumer. You came to this show. We're a rich Oprah and Ellen. Have some, I don't want to say sneakers, boots. I like boots anyway. Have some boots. Here you go. You're a good little consumer. You're a good little sheeple. Here's some more money and shoes. Consume more. Here's more money. Here's some... Yeah, you get what I'm saying. I don't know. It, it's, it's just rather pathetic. I, I watched this North Korean documentary, Propaganda. You might want to watch it. It really goes pretty ridiculous, because, you know, it's the North Korean viewpoint. But at the same time, they show some views on our culture that is worth looking at. Um, even though some of it's ridiculously silly. I, I couldn't watch the whole thing without giggling. Um, I probably got only half an hour into it myself, too. But yeah, we're sheeple, and we like to be sheeple, even though we know we're sheeple. Because, don't get me wrong, you like your TV, you like your computer, you like your video games, you like going to the bar, you like consuming. We're competitive consumer people and sheeple, and we like it. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't really know what I want to talk about in this. I was thinking about that earlier. You know one thing that's really cool to talk about here? One moment. Because I can't do cuts and I don't have video editing software. And. Dutch boat, 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 Dutch boat. I know it doesn't have sails, I really like it though. It has this little thing here though, I love that. I love Dutch. Anyway. Um, I think the only thing that's really on my mind to talk about is porn. 
No, I'm not horny and I'm not trying to hit on my viewers here. It's just porn is so easy to get these days. Like, were any of you young on Kazaa Light and downloading any random video that looked nice and then who knows, you might get a guy with a garbage bag on his head fucking a dog. <sighs> Next thing you know, there's a girl getting fucked by a horse. Like, you, well, if you were on, or if you were online during the starting days of the internet in the last, like, you know, decade or so, then you know what I'm talking about. Porn used to be so freaking hard to get. You were, you were lucky if you found a good one on that. Because you, you didn't even know what you are getting. Now, there are so many websites like Spankwire, YouPorn, that some have such silly names, some have ridiculous names like 8Tube. I'm giving out probably way too much. They should have paid me for this advertising. Anyway, you go on there, there's so many videos. There's like YouTube sites for porn. You put the crosshair over it, you can see the preview of it so you know what you're getting into. Not only that, kids watching porn these days, when they're young, like, you know, 12, 13, hitting puberty, going online, they don't even need to fucking get porn. Oh, shit, I swear to God, Okay, I feel like a guy on Tourette's. I just, I only have one cup of coffee in me, too. Oh. Anyway, it's like the ads on porn alone. Like, I'm not even searching for porn. I'll get a big porn ad. I'll have a gift images or some videos, and I'm just, like, thinking to myself, shit, if, like, this was five, ten years ago, I would have loved that. Like, porn is easier to get. Oh. And you know what? That kind of goes with my previous topic of we're consumer competitive sheeple. Because it's like... We consume porn, right? Like, porn's a commodity online. I don't think anyone's really competitive with porn. It's like, no, man, this porn video is much better than that porn video, man. You gotta have a girl like this, doing that. No one does that. I hope not, anyway. Porn is even entertaining sometimes. Like, you can watch porn with your buddies and, like, dude, check this girl out. Listen to her scream. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, some is just ridiculous. Like, the other day I was watching, like, the top ten worst orgasms ever recorded in porn. Ugh. Don't worry, I was drunk. I would never watch that sober with someone. But, yeah. I was thinking about it the other day. We're sheeple, and I kind of think... I, I was thinking, we're sheeple. But we're obviously aware we're sheeple. Especially with the internet now, and they probably hate that, whoever they are. If there's that conspiracy. But, like... We're sheeple, and we know this. Like, there's videos online of people with, like, you know, megaphone screaming, we're sheeple, and, like, trying to open people's eyes. And I think it's, people's eyes do open sometimes, but they just don't care. Because think about, like, all of us fucking sheeple, and all of us people that aren't loaded and rich, that live in our little boxes on our little boxes, like, you, you like it, don't you? I know I like it. I like my video games and such. I don't like being a sheeple, but it definitely has its perks. Um, I don't even have the time on this, and this is one cut. I don't know what I should talk about. Oh, I got a haircut. My mom did it. Actually, my mom's really um, nice at cutting hair, uh, except that she kind of got me in the eye with the comb and... Probably I have some scratch marks on the back of my scalp. scalp. I look good. Alright, I'm just gonna start checking myself out now if I uh, keep this video going longer. I don't want to talk about it still. <sighs> well, I guess I'll quickly send a message to my viewers. Um, I'm on a laptop. <laughs> My big computer broke. It's gonna probably be like a year before I can afford another unless I get my Ultimate Money Boxing Day. Or maybe I'll just go to Ellen or Oprah and I'll get some money or write a letter to them. And maybe they can give me money so I can start putting stuff out online again and making money off the internet. So I can tend to shame you and you can consume my stuff. And then I can make money from that and consume stuff too. <laughs> Mostly alcohol and coffee. I lost my little remote to turn this off. When I search for that remote, I will be... I will... Dutch Boat will entertain you. Dutch Boat. Dutch Boat. Cruise and cruise and cruise and Dutch Boat. Dutch Boat. Cruise and cruise and cruise and cruise and Dutch Boat. Dutch Boat. Trade and trade and trade and trade and Dutch Boat. Dutch Boat. Got you all the gold. Cause that's a Dutch Boat! Yeah! <laughs> I still have not found the thing. Okay, there it is. Bye, YouTube.